Yeah, I'm rolling up and down figures. And into the palm. And the pad to the pinky. And the thumb. And down to the wrist. And across the knuckles. And we are back to fingers, index finger and thumb. And middle finger. Moving finger. And other hand, index. Middle. Ring. And pinky. Let's toss it up in the air or two apart. Batting it around a little, switching the hands, speeds. Distances, angles, dimensions. Three, two, one, on the floor. So, so the feet feel and step on the ball, pressing down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll it across the knuckles. And bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise the toes and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, and we'll repeat on the other foot. Press it down on the knuckles now. Rolling across. Wiggling the toes. Pressing the toes into the ball. Lifting and separating. Pressing. Wiggling. Scribbling. Mm 
Sussex. Let's get the ball out of the way and chop some wood. Seven through the middle. Seven diagonally across each way. And let's shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Twist at the waist, swing the arms. And center with some ocean wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine. Step out, gather in starlight. And center, same thing the other way. And center. Walking. Jogging. Or marching. Today is our seated day. We're going to do a uh, critical bench seated exercises. On the bridges, core lifts, cross forwards. Reaches, detox, no rapid squats. I think that's what I'll do to get heart rate going, but you can do whatever you want, including exactly what you're doing. Be safe. Yeah, we got some five Tibetans in the after class. We go in five, four, three, two, one, two. Ten.
15. Twenty-five and thirty. Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers or raise the hands up overhead. Reach it up if you can. Lower your toes. Come on down, bend back. If you could do a back extension, otherwise, keep reaching. Back to center, then to one side. And then the other. Back to center. Lower the hands, push out of the chest. Come on down. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Raise the hands up. Squeeze the shoulder blades again. A little higher. Come on down and shrug. Put your fingertips on your shoulders, roll those elbows forward. And backwards. Form an L, 90 degrees. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. Release. Squeeze. Release and squeeze. Release, extend the arms and rotate. Go the other way. Thumbs are up and down. Give yourself a bear hug. Other arm on top. One more time each way. Up your shoulders. Grab the ear opposite your hand and pull gently towards the side, looking up out of the top of your eyes towards the ceiling. And then the other way. One arm behind the back, pressing down and in on the elbow. Now 
and then the other. Grab both elbows, rock side to side. And one arm, fingers up, pull back. Fingers down. Drop the wrist, wiggle the fingers, make a fist. Other hand. Down. And blocked. Well, down we go. Rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. Go over your shoulder. And tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. And let's go into a side lunge. Shift the other way. And come on up. And let's grab a stick. We're going to do the toning bar routine today, starting with the stick parallel to the spine, one hand on the top, one hand below, moving up and down. And then switch the position on the hand. Stick in the crook of the elbows and rock, twisting at the waist. Bring the stick up overhead, go side to side. And then below the waist, side to side. And then to one side, front and back. And then to the other side. And then paddle the kayak.
reverse direction. Bring the stick up to the shoulders, palms are facing out, lock the wrists. And then bring your arms down below the waist and back up to the shoulders. And then up overhead and down. And stop at the shoulders, reverse the position of the hands so the palms are facing in and flop the wrists. Bring the arms down. And up and down. And then bring the stick behind. And oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Bring it uh, behind the back with the palms facing out. And lift it behind you 10 times. And then reverse the position of your hands so the palms are facing in and do another 10. Bring the stick down in front, hold on with two hands, one hand for a finger or two, step away. Come up on your toes for a count of 15. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then back on your heels, 15. And down, very good. So I'll put the stick away and grab a chair. And we're gonna start by stretching those hamstrings that we've been doing before by putting one leg out in front, you're on your heel and lean into it and just hold. Hinging at the waist, keeping your head back. And then come up and get the other foot. Other leg, I should say. Other foot is out in front, leaning in. And come up, cross that first foot over the other leg. Ankle is right above the knee. Put your hands on the knee that's raised and bend into it at the waist, pushing slightly on the knee, stretching those hip flexors. Come back up, rotate the ankle five times in one direction. And then five times in the other direction. Good. 
and then point the toes towards the shin and away from the shin 10 times. That leg down, bring the other leg up and across. Hands are on your knee, then into it pushing on the knee. Come on back up. Rotate five times in one direction with your ankle and then five times in the other. Point your toes towards your shin and away 10 times. And then bring that foot down on the ground, raise your hands up over your head. You want your arms right next to your ears or parallel to your ears. Come forward about 45 degrees and back and we'll do 10 of these. And then sit up, cross your arms. You're in the middle of the chair. Go back, touch the back of the chair with your back and come forward 10 times. Forty-five degree reach. Go out. Grab that cherry. Bring your arm in ten times each way. Arms out to your side, 90 degrees. Use your hips to slide one way and then the other. Nine. And 10. Then we're going to stand up. You could use the back of the chair or the seat of the chair to do an inclined plank, but just make sure that the chair is not going to move. It's either um, solid on the ground or put it against the wall or um, uh, some object so that it won't move. You do it from the back of the chair, just move your feet out. Hold the back of the chair and we're going to hold for the count of 20, or you can do it from the seat. Makes it a little bit more difficult this way. Ready? One, two. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on up. Of course, you got your core engaged as you're doing that. So bring your navel in towards your ribs, uh, towards your spine. 
a couple of breaths, one more. I'm going to go back to the plank position and just move your knee towards your the same elbow 10 times. Three, four, five. Again, core is engaged. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. What was the next time I can work up a sweat doing chair exercises? So take a couple of restorative breaths. Last day for Stephen Coe's second energizing breath series, and that is drag, uh, rapid turtle breathing. Our head's back uh, when we do it, and the tongue is loose. And as it comes down, we exhale. And then we inhale with the tongue on the palate. Exhale, loose tongue on the palate. We do it um, seven times rapidly. Take two regular breaths seven times, two regular, seven times, two regular. So inhale, exhale. Six, seven, and then two regular breaths, and then we're going to do two more rounds. And here we go. Last round. And rub those hands together. Cultivate chi. Making that chi ball that moves us around. Like water flowing. As we shift our weight from one channel to the other. And center. Two breaths. And let's open our hearts. Pause. Exhale. Send it out. Center, two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And gather from below. And... <laughs> Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Mira. Thank Thanks, you, Tom. Tom.
See you. Hey, Storm. Thank you. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you. Nina. Ichak was with us today. That's wonderful. He was. Yeah, I saw him. So um, anybody who's sticking around, we got some five Tibetans coming up. You want to do them? Maybe just you and me, Eva. <laughs> yeah, you all will come out of hiding sometime. Oh, good. Okay. All right. A uh, reminder that instead of spinning, you can just twist it the way swing your arm. Yeah. I twist. And I'm going to twist. Twice that. You still have some time that you see that. Oh, yeah. Why? Because it's a little shot. Oh, okay. And 11. Going to move to the floor. And I'll meet you on the floor. At the floor. Hands by the side. Or under the back to support the lower back or under the skull to support the neck if you need that. So as the feet can be on the floor in the modified version as the head, neck and shoulders come up as the soles come up and down or you can extend the legs and come up with the legs as the head, neck and shoulders come off the floor. That's one. Two. Six, seven, and when you're done, take two deep breaths. Roll it over onto our knees. Hands are on the back of the thighs or on the glutes. You can just bend at the knees and come back a little bit. If you can't do back extensions, do physics on the position. But if you can, do so and come forward. One. And that's 11. Two breaths. We're going to sit back down. Hands can be behind the back in the modified version or next to the hips is the regular way to do it. Legs can be Soles on the ground in the modified version or extended. I find it easier to do it extended in the unmodified version, but whatever works for you. I'll turn my hands around this time and do 11 inverted tables.
Hold on, take two breaths. We're going to turn around on all fours. And move into a cobra for the modified version. A modified start in a down dog coming to an up dog. I'll do that. Whatever works, too. And we're going to come around, cross our legs. Oh, it feels right today. Change it up a little. And a couple of breaths. We're going to rotate from the waist. We're just sitting up or bending down six times in one direction, five in the other. Here we go. And then switch the position of the legs. Whatever was on top goes on the bottom. Whatever was in front goes behind. We're going to do five in the original, six in reverse, pausing on the last round to stretch out in front to begin and do two rounds of heart breathing to the count of four. And we'll do it over the left knee and the right knee. Here we go. And stretching out. Now breathe in through the count of four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four, and do it one more time before moving, moving to the left. One left. And all right. And the uh, Sahadena. Oh. Oh. 